Hi everyone. I am from Team E. I'm the only member in my team and my name is Song Xiaoming. This is my photo. The preliminary challenge is to make the robot move around the arena and collect red, black, and cyan objects. It can collect at most six objects without depositing. Then, the robot should deposit them into the orange zone. Afterwards, the robot can collect another six objects. However, if the robot moves into the night blue zone, which is the trap, it will drop all the objects and scores will, uh, points will be deducted. I'm in the category RCA People Space Rescue First Steps U19 and my strategy is just to do a blind sweep of the arena and my result is 1380 points. I did it because my other code would not work and this is my backup plan. So it's not the most effective method but it makes a good backup plan when nothing else works and I have no idea why, no time to figure it out and no help from other people. The robot is controlled by the functions wheel left and wheel right. So when wheel left or wheel right is zero, that wheel does not move. If one of the wheels have a value set to a negative number, for example, if wheel left is like negative one, wheel left will move backwards. If the value is set to a positive value, the wheel will move forward. Um, the two wheels move independently of e each other. So like if one of them turns left and the other turns right, the robot will turn. Okay, so this is my program. As you can see, the robot is picking up a red object. This is the trap avoidance, which when it touches the yellow zone, it will move away or move backwards. This is the wall avoidance, so it doesn't hit the wall. The robot is picking up objects now. Just now it deposited in the uh, orange arena, I mean orange place. It does not deposit if it didn't reach six objects yet. However, there are some errors. For example, it just got relocated. But in the cold, even if it does get relocated, sometimes um, the code will have some errors and when it's not completely filled up, the robot will think that it is filled up and it will try to move to the um, place to deposit. The um, bad thing about blind sweeping is sometimes you miss the deposit zone easily. So that's it. So applying knowledge gained in this competition to the real world. Um, so there are many types of rescue robots. For example, there's Snakebot from um, CNU. It is remote controlled and it has multiple drawings, which will let it crawl through um, debris. It also have a live camera, um, which will record. 
LED lights to brighten up the surroundings. And distancing measure laser technology like the ultrasonic sensors in the simulator. Um, for the improvement part, I don't really think I can improve on that because this robot is very well designed and very well executed. So, I guess it might be able to improve if it actually adds stuff like ultrasonic sensors, but I would say it's kind of redundant. Okay, that's all. Thank you for watching.